Hi, my name is Takesha and I am consultant, Pop Razi Independent Consultant number 163393. So I was here in my kitchen and I just had an idea. I thought why would that I take this time to share with you a couple of tips about what to do with your jewelry when you're actually in the kitchen. You know we have the five S's, no swimming, no showering, no spraying, no sweating, and no sleeping in your jewelry. You know because it can be dangerous and sometimes the perspiration from a body or um, like you know medications and stuff like that that you know taking can cause chemical reactions with the jury and then cause it to turn colors but what about everyday activities such as just washing the dishes or preparing a meal what are you supposed to do with your jury then sometimes you can lose it or even drop it in the sink oh no right so I've come up with a couple of easy ways in order to keep your jury so that way you don't <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. So that way you don't lose your jewelry. So the first thing you can do is purchase one of these cool little pill bottles. They're really a great way to organize your jewelry for travel or just for keeping it in case you need to um, tuck it away for a minute. So if you look here, one of these cool little compartments is just big enough that you can put a ring in or a pair of cool earrings or You can even put them in there together. Wait, that didn't work. There we go. Together. See? And you just keep it right up here on your countertop. It's waterproof so your jewelry won't get wet. And you're good. Another idea that my mom used to do is she used to keep a little um, bowl right by the sink. And I do the same. I just go ahead and take my ring off when I get ready to wash dishes. Drop it in there. And then go ahead and I tuck my bracelet around the actual bowl and set it off to the side like on my <laughs> this guy lives on my counter so <laughs> he's got to do something <laughs> so yeah you know and um, another thing about um, working in the kitchen with your jewelry want to make sure that if you're gonna be wearing hanging jewelry like the type that I wear just make sure that you're mindful when you're actually bending in the sink or over the stove or any of those type of places so that way you can ensure that you don't get hurt or caught or um, accidentally strangled or something to that effect. Also, be mindful of hanging earrings and stuff like that in the kitchen when you're preparing food. So that way you make sure that they don't accidentally fall into the food or get caught on something like that. Um, also, with paparazzi, all the um, fish hook backings usually come with a nice little plastic nub to help ensure that they stay on and the posts always come with like a metal um, um, backing so that way they can ensure that they stay on to secure it and fasten them. So yeah, these are just a couple of cool little tips for you guys. Um, the jewelry that I'm wearing right now, this is paparazzi. This is one of our wooden pieces. Remember, I do tits and trends on Tuesdays. This is part of the sticks and stones trend. Um, all about wooden jewelry and the beautiful natural jewelry, natural stones and stuff like that. That's really in for summer 2018. Uh, this piece that I'm wearing right here is called Jungle Jive. <laughs> it's available in brown at my jewelry store, Fab and Five Jewels. Um, on Facebook, but you can also go to my webpage, fabandfivejewels.com, where it's available with a beautiful red medallion like this mahogany one here. Also, this beautiful orange wooden bracelet is available in my store. This is called Fabulously Fiji. It's a gorgeous wooden stretchy band bracelet. And this beautiful ring. Now, this is mine in my collection. Sorry, this is not for sale. <laughs> but as you can see, um, paparazzi jewelry, it is just really great. Um, you can just mix and match pretty much everything. And so with the $5 price tag, you can go crazy. So if you'd love to come and see my new jewelry, which I will be getting new inventory in a couple of days, make sure you join the VIP so you can shop the box when it comes. Um, then go to Facebook, look for Fab and Five Jewels, and then go to Fab and Five VIP and join right away. And if you happen to have a birthday in February, you want to join now. I mean, if you happen to have a birthday in July, you want to join now because I am having a Ruby's 
birthday giveaway. That's right, one lucky VIP member with a birthday in July that tags the graphic with these um, earrings in my VIP shopping group will win this pair of earrings. No purchase necessary. You don't even have to pay the shipping costs. All you have to do is follow directions to join the VIP and tag this photo with your birthday. That's it. That easy. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. I hope these tips have been helpful and I hope to see you on my VIP. And remember to come join me on Fridays at 8 p.m. Pacific time. That's when I do Friday Fun Day and I show you all my inventory. We play cool games and I give away awesome prizes and there's a raffle every week. Mwah. See you guys. Bye.